the next entity members wish to uh, debate is Housing New Zealand Corporation. Their question is that the report of the Social Services Committee on the 2012-13 Financial Review of Housing New Zealand Corporation be noted. Um, I'm calling uh, Poto Williams. Mr Chairman, um, just uh, to um, bring everyone in the House up to speed with what's currently happening in Christchurch uh, around housing, um, I just, just want to kind of set the scene for those of us in Canterbury who are experiencing some pressure around the housing issues at the moment um, and the Government's response to that. Uh, there is an overwhelming need to get vulnerable, vulnerable people into homes that are warm and dry. Uh, we've got huge pressures on our housing stock. As people are leaving their homes for them to be repaired and rebuilt, it pu puts pressure on the rental stock. Insurance money is coming into play as well, which is adding pressure to the rates being charged on rental properties. People are getting payouts uh, which are insufficient to rebuild their homes, which means they are putting more pressure on the rental market as well. People are being put in difficult financial positions, and we've got pressures on our resources. We've got pressures on our land, we've got pressures on our construction workers, pressures on materials that have pushed costs up of construction. We're pushing people out of the market who are unable to afford housing and home ownership in um, Canterbury, which was one of the highest in the country, is now slipping way down. Canterbury needs 12 to 15,000 new homes to meet its pre-quake levels, and we have had 1,000, 1,000 built, according to Deloitte's estimates. The Minister has stated quite clearly that it will take until 2016 to return to pre-quake levels, and until 2018 for the housing market to cease being under pressure. Given the Minister's over-promise and under-delivery, these deadlines are at risk of being viewed as ridiculous. And, uh, you know, frankly, they are ambitious. But let's look at the social housing component to this, because in social housing, we've divested um, social housing in the guise of adding more social housing providers to the mix with minimal addition to the housing stock. So we have a social housing unit where we are looking not just to the government but we are looking to other people to provide housing as well. And we've looked quite clearly to the Canterbury Community Trust to partner with social housing providers and the government to do that. That's not a bad thing. However, I believe that it's the government's responsibility to take a firm hold of the social housing crisis in Canterbury, and in this regard, it appears that we are failing. Mm -hmm. Resources from the community, which is already woefully underfunded and stretched. Housing New Zealand stopped providing social support some years ago. There are benefits to having property managers closely connected with the tenants in more ways than just social support. Your housing stock is being viewed often. You've got a relationship with your tenants which is important to the overall look and cost of maintenance because you are there visiting your folk because you are there more than just to check the property. You are there to have a relationship with the people who are ultimately going to care for that uh, property. So Housing New Zealand's priority waiting lists have also become a bit of a disgrace. Let me just quote you some of the latest figures on, on the waiting list. In March, Housing New Zealand had a record 5,204 priority applicants on the waiting list. This is 1,049 higher than when National took office in December 2008. In Canterbury, it's particularly bad, with 495 priority applicants on the waiting list, up from 288 in December 2008, when National took office. So there's no market lever that you can pull that will change the situation. It requires intervention. And examples from our particular office in Christchurch East show that in one week, people who had come to us to request emergency um, accommodation went up from 48 to 63. 
And we are also providing hats and scarves and sending them to the blanket bank so that they are warm when they're sleeping in their cars. So at the same time, the regions have been uh, pillaged of their housing stock. Let's just have a look at what's been happening in our regions. In almost every town and city in regional New Zealand, there are dozens of empty state houses. I call Mike Saban. Thank you, Mr Chair. Very much appreciate the opportunity to take a, uh, a call and knock back on a couple of the uh, statements made by the previous...